Chapter 6 provides an overview of techniques for getting information to the public. We already have discussed how before the public can participate, they need information to be able to participate in an informed uh, manner. For example, it is very common to have comments against um, affordable housing. People immediately think that um, poor people are most likely to commit uh, crimes. Although that might be statistically true, research shows that other factors like age and then gender, plus also policing in neighborhoods, which increasing, increases the chances of being um, caught doing something, um, they're also part of the equation. There are also geographic distinctions between um, urban and rural communities. Even then, it's important to understand that most people do not commit uh, crimes, and this is also true for people who live in affordable housing. Um, there are also other dis um, distinctions, um, for example, with affordable housing for um, older adults versus um, families. Sometimes it is assumed that um, if a place has a lot of um, families, also means that it has a lot of um, teenagers that are more likely um, to commit um, uh, crimes. So this is um, an image from Latro Homes, which is like residents in Chicago, who is mostly composed of like working uh, people, like most people who live in affordable housing. The cashier at um, Costco, uh, Walgreens uh, manager, uh, school bus drivers, industrial workers, uh, teachers aide, these are people that depend um, on affordable housing, but we also depend um, on, on them. Um, so if we want people working in these types of jobs, we must also provide as a society um, housing where they can live and they can um, afford. Just to give some background of the Latrobe Homes, it's located along the Chicago River where five different communities um, meet. Nearly 30 years ago, residents were dealing with um, loss of um, income and living wage um, jobs as higher and middle income uh, households left the city due to redlining and uh, suburbanization. So this means that also jobs um, left. Latrop Homes was built during the New Deal era, designed uh, by some of the city's most respected um, architects. It was built to last um, and in a human scale. Uh, contrary to Cabrini Green, which is another um, public housing development um, in Chicago. Not being of human scale has come to be seen as many as one of the main reasons uh, why French architects um, Le Corbusier Towers, so these are the large towers um, in the park, surrounded by a park with no eyes on the street, to use um, J. Jacobs' phrase here, seems in retrospect as a failure um, of public housing. Though the scope of this lecture doesn't um, allow me to delve into this in more depth, um, there are lengthy explanations about um, just why in a matter of only uh, 10, 15, 20 years, these once majestic uh, buildings fell into disrepair and became as uh, Oscar Newman um, in his book from 1973 once put it, um, these verti vertical towers surrounded by horizontal green spaces became indefensible uh, spaces. Many, many attribute the um, high crime strains to the Chicago Housing um, Authority neglect of the buildings. So there's this, this idea of um, the tragedy of the commons, that people do not take care of key things that they um, do not own, but also there's the broken uh, window theory, which is the, states that visible signs of crime, um, antisocial behavior and civic disorder create an urban environment that encourages further crime and disorder, including serious crimes. So the, the Chicago Housing Authority wasn't really taking care of um, these um, buildings. 
but even during those, those days of uh, neglect and um, that there were also higher crime, um, later residents um, worked and they worshiped in their community. This was during the years that the Church of the Good News grew from the Latrop apartments into a, a storefront in the community and fr finally uh, to a free um, a standing um, building and, and, and church. Uh, Hope Six um, developments, um, which is uh, to change, uh, convert um, public housing into lower rise um, buildings with uh, mixed income um, units or um, residents, if you will, later on sought to create uh, brand new communities where the, these um, Le Corbusier Towers um, once stood in an attempt to um, redevise the Long South um, ideal of a well-managed um, community. So Hope 6 sought to create um, uh, communities with a mixture of one-third public housing, uh, one-third affordable, and one-third uh, market rate. Um, this um, image of later homes, which was um, not demolished because, again, it was built of human scale, and it had um, a lot of historical character. Yeah, as a matter of fact, this, um, the new developers are looking into the historical designation for this um, building. Um, again, that is like one third public housing residents, one third affordable housing, and one third market rate. Um, as of right now, some of the partners um, that are working on this redevelopment is um, Vicar Dyke Redevelopment Corporation, which is a community development corporation in Chicago. Um, I had like, the privilege to work um, very, very closely. Um, and they um, actually were preparing residents to come back to, um, to their units, and I mean the, the public housing um, residents. Um, so to go back to this idea that the public, generally speaking, is misinformed about um, affordable housing, probably what is um, the most direct influence in um, crime incidents is arguably the management. Um, not the fact that it's affordable housing or it's not um, affordable housing. Um, of course, today, as seen by this example, um, the idea of like mixed income is being um, promoted and um, we research will have to be done and it's been done right now to see like how um, successful that um, program um, is. We have like reason to believe that um, it will be um, successful um, in some ways and maybe not um, in, in other ways. Um, so it's not one thing or, or the other. Um, so there's a studies being done about um, public housing residents um, obtaining more jobs or like the youth being able to um, later on get an, an education um, and the idea of like social capital of people making friends in that are in um, uh, of a higher uh, socioeconomic um, class to see if that will create um, opportunities. Um, so those like studies are being um, created. There's other studies showing that um, low-income residents have been will be more police or blamed for particular things that other residents um, in the same development um, will not. Um, so those are some of the preliminary research. But again, um, the idea is that we do have to. Um, right now, we have to believe that um, mixed income, um, it's, uh, it will provide um, some, some benefits um, to these residents. So planners are really advocating um, for, for this. Um, but just to um, go back to this idea of like an educated um, public, instead of sim simply condemning affordable housing, as a criminal, they might ask questions about um, who is the developer? Um, do they have a good reputation? Um, do they invest in their properties? Do they take care of them? Um, what, um, how they choose like tenants? Um, do they offer employment opportunities, programs for family and youth? 
like those um, offered by historic agencies in late drop, such as the Boys and Girls Club and Mary Crane uh, Center, which is a child care center. So these questions are more productive than saying, yes, we don't want um, affordable um, housing. But you have to educate the public about the benefits of um, affordable housing so they can come and make comments that are actually um, useful. And that's what the author of the book is um, trying um, to say. Um, now, I wanted to bring this example because I'm an advocate for um, affordable housing. I believe that we should have more um, affordable housing, even um, public housing. Um, and uh, I, but at the same time, I'm not like a city planner um, working in the um, planning division, um, trying to pass certain um, affordable housing projects. So when you are like working for the city and you have a, a specific application, you cannot say, um, I, you can recommend that the application is um, approved by the planning commission and by the city council. Um, and you can provide facts, but you cannot um, just seem biased. So you must, uh, the author is saying that you must take exceptional efforts to ensure the information you give to the public is objective. Um, so for example, you cannot say this project will be great for the city because um, X, Y, and C, um, because again, there will be people that will be opposed to that um, project. So you cannot talk about a specific projects in this matter, like advocating, like I want this development as a staff planner. You have just to say, um, there's, there's an applicant, this is what they're trying to do. Um, and you can um, actually say things like, um, um, or housing plan found that there's a shortage of like 50,000 units um, that are affordable. So this project will contribute to meet the goals that are established in our plan. Um, in this case, you are just like presenting some evidence. You are not advocating for this particular project um, that is being presented or proposed right now. So the, the city cannot be seen as they're advocating for a particular um, outcome. Uh, the public will assume that you're manipulating um, information um, to produce the outcome that you, are, that you desire. The author notes that the media will always um, try to write stories that maximize um, controversy. So this means that you cannot be seen as like keeping um, or picking uh, a side. So the, um, the goal is to ensure that um, people who do not have a predetermined position um, perceive the information um, they receive from you as useful and uh, trustworthy. So something important to remember is um, that you do not represent yourself, um, you represent your organization. So you have to be careful about what you said. Um, now, if you end up working for the Salt Lake City Housing um, Neighborhoods Development Department or HAND, you might clearly advocate, generally speaking, for the construction of affordable housing and your entire department would, the city would support you um, on this, this is your mission. But in a similar manner, you cannot advocate for a particular developer as you will see as giving favors um, to some developers and not um, others. What is important here is that you make sure that you understand what is the mission of your organization and um, your department and how um, your statements will be seen by the by the public. 